So here I am at it again. Uh, what an adventure. Just replacing some speakers turned out to be, right? Uh, I'm about to now try to replace the front speakers. To do that, i got to pull this dash out. There's lots of videos on YouTube on how to remove the dash pad out of a third gen Camaro. But I'm going to show you myself. On the dash of a third gen Camaro, you'll notice up here on the defrost vents, there's some bolt or some screws. You've got to remove those. And then underneath your dash, I don't know if it's going to come out quite right or not. But there are uh, screws. There's one right here. And one right here. They're just kind of all over on the edge where the actual structure of the dash meets the dash itself. you got to remove all of them. And then... This dash pad just pulls out. So I'm going to do that um, without the camera rolling because I don't exactly have a place to put this up. Alright, so I've removed all the bolts, which I've put right there. Now one thing I notice is that on these vent screws... They actually have something in them. I can only assume they did this from the factory. But it's some tacky material towards the end of the threads. It makes those screws not want to come out. Uh, I pulled the first one out. Uh, but I felt like I didn't want to do that on the others. Because I didn't want to possibly damage this original dash. So let's see how it comes out. A little hard to do one handed. And there we go. Let's get out of here and. Pull this thing out the rest of the way. As you see, that's what I'm getting to, those speakers. I know the glare is horrible from my shop light, but... There's the underneath of my dash. This dash, I know, has never been removed. Thank <laughs> you. 
Run them up. Let's see here. Okay. Let's get going here. There we go. Check one out. So here's the speakers I bought. They're Pioneer three ways. Basically, smaller version of the same speakers I bought for the rear. Well, there's one. Putting these front speakers in has been a fight all night. Um, these four by sixes take some brackets and the bolts that came with them for some reason wasn't wanting to hold on so I had to pull the speakers out, put them in, pull them out, put them in, back and forth, back and forth. The fun never ends. Little did I know this would be such an adventure. I'm going to go ahead and turn this stereo on. Fronts are working. Let's add the rear end. Oh yeah. There we go. Yeah. Now it sounds something like it did when it was new, actually. Although, when I was a kid, my dad listened to this kind of music. But as he got older, he started listening to older kinds of music. Late in his life, he was listening to 50s and early 60s music. I come to find that as I've gotten older, I've started listening to older older music. So, don't know if there's a correlation there or not. Well, it's tomorrow. Um, my adventures into replacing those front speakers lasted well into the morning, and I decided to call it quits for the night. Reinstalled the dash which was the last piece to go um and that's it little did i know this adventure of just replacing the old worn out oem speakers would turn into me replacing the entire stereo system sometimes that's how it goes though you never know you just got to roll with the punches again support is great if you like what i'm doing Hit that like button. Make a comment. Anything you want me to do, want to see. It's winter right now, so I really can't do much. But I'm trying to show you what I'm doing. I'm not big on making anything video related. I don't even like having my picture taken. This is one thing I do to continue a legacy my father created. He was a big fan of video and started with Super 8 video. I've got two very large boxes full of the films he created when he was young. And I can only hope that he's looking upon me from wherever he is. He's proud of his son. 
after my father passed away, one of the first things I did was designed a tattoo to memorize the man. And what I did is now my creed. I'm gonna show you this tattoo. He wrote that to me in a letter when I was in church camp. Uh, it's from a large letter, but just that line. Try to do me proud. This is old dad signing off. Love dad. Every day I continue to try to do him proud.